Have you ever downloaded Blender wanting to learn how to 3D model only to feel completely lost and give up within minutes? Well don't worry, this video is your ultimate guide to starting out with Blender and mastering the basics. Hello and welcome to Blender. I know it may seem very intimidating at first, everything you see here, but trust me, after this video, you will have completely mastered the basics of Blender. Alright, so the first thing I want to go over is movement. Movement is really important in a 3D software, especially if you want to look around and make changes to your 3D model. So we can simply do this by holding down the middle mouse button, as you can see here. You hold down the middle mouse button and you can just swipe your mouse and turn, and then you can look around your model. Now let's say we wanted to move what we're looking at. We can hold shift and the middle mouse button and we can move our camera like this. Now, when we want to make little changes to our model, another good way to look at it is through the axis here. We can click Z. This is a top face. X, I, Y, X. This is a nice way to make subtle changes and it's a good way to, let's say we wanted to change something here. It's a good way to just look at it perfectly. Now we're going to head over to object mode. Object mode is what we're currently in and it's basically, this is an object. So we can move it by going over here. We can move it, rotate it, scale it and uh, yeah. Now we can click the part to select it. And let's say we wanted to move it. We can click here and move it or we can use shortcuts and we can click G and move it. Now you can press Ctrl and Z to go back and undo your thing. Um, let's say we wanted to move it perfectly. So we can press G and as we can see up here in our axis, we have our Y axis, X axis and Z axis. So our Y axis is this green line, our X axis is this red line and the z-axis would just be perfectly up. So let's say we wanted to move it to the right. We could press G and then we could press Y to move it on the y-axis. And then we move it perfectly like this. Now let's say we wanted to perfectly move it. We could press G, Y to on the y-axis and we can hold down control and it does it in this kind of grid. Next, what I'm going to go over is rotate. So this is this rotate over here. So we can just rotate it. The shortcut for rotate is R. But if you see, if we're looking at this way, it's not going to rotate it perfectly. That's why we're going to use our faces. We're going to go on the Y. We're going to press rotate and it's going to perfectly rotate it this way. Now, if we hold on control, it does the same thing. It perfectly rotates it. Let's say we wanted to move it this way. We go on our Z and we press rotate and it rotates it. All right, next we have scale. So to scale, we can just press, uh, we can hold this and we can scale whatever size we want. Or we can press S, this scales the whole thing. If we do S and Z, it's going to do it upward. So it's going to scale like this. And if we do S and Y, it does it this way. S and X does it the other way, etc. So now let's delete this. So all we got to do is click it and press X. We can also delete these two things. You don't really need this as a beginner. So we just drag and click and we just delete it. So if we wanted to add our cube back, we can press Shift and A. And there's so many things you can add here. We're going to go on mesh and make all right. Next, we're going to go over edit mode. This is where all the modeling stuff in Blender begins. And it's super important if you're going to make models. We're going to click on the cube and we're going to press tab. This brings up edit mode. Now, if you want to go back to object mode, we press tab again and we're back where we were. But we're going to go to edit mode, press tab, or you can also click up here and click on edit mode or object mode. Now, there's different ways to edit in edit mode. So we have our vertices, so these little dots. We can press 2 to go into our edges, our edge select mode. This selects the edges. And we can go in our face select mode, which selects the faces. All the hotkeys for this are 1, 2, and 3. Now we're going to go down here, and here we have our extrude. extrude. 
So let's say if we wanted to make this bigger, that's what extrude is, or longer, I'd say. So we could make our face select mode, and we can do this. Or we can simply press E, and it would make it, yeah, it, it like makes two different, it separates it. All right, so we're going to press Control Z to go back to our cube. Next, we have our inset faces. So if we could just click on I, it would inset it. So it kind of like perfectly makes it inside. And let's say we wanted to combine this with extrude. We can either make this longer or we can put it inside. So now we have kind of a, let's say, a box. Next, we have our bevel. This is very, this is a very nice tool. If we click Control and B, it makes this kind of bevel. And if we scroll on our scroll wheel, you can make create multiple bevels. So we could scroll as much as we want and make a perfect bevel. Or we can make kind of a low poly one if we wanted to. It doesn't really matter. There's also a different type of bevel. If you do control shift and B, it you can create it from like the sides. So yeah, there's different types of things you can do with bevels. This one is control shift B and this one was Control and B. Next, we have loop cuts. If we press Control R and click on the cube, we can add a loop cut. And let's say if we wanted to select all the edges here, we can hold down Alt and click the edge. And let's say we wanted to make this a bit thicker, we can press S and it will make it thicker. So you can see here. Or if we wanted this to kind of be a house, we can do this. We can we can do really anything. Now let's say we want to add more loop cuts. We're going to press Control R and we're going to use our scroll wheel again. That's going to add as much cuts as we want. So if we wanted three cuts, just click here. You can also move the cuts, but uh, I suggest just making it centered a lot better. And we can do this, for example. Yeah. All right. Rest of the tools you don't really need as a beginner. Now with what we've learned, let's try and make something. We'll make a very simple model of a mug. If you would like to challenge yourself, skip to this timestamp. I'm going to start off by deleting the cube and pressing Shift and A and adding a cylinder. All right, so as you know, in the mug, we have to have somewhere where the drink is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go edit mode by pressing tab. We're going to press three to go in our face select mode, and we're going to click this face up here. And we're going to use our I to inset tool. So this will kind of make like a little inset. And then what we can do is we can press E and extrude it down. So if we extrude it down, if we, if we want to extrude it even more, we don't press extrude again. It will kind of mess it up. So we'll add another loop, a loop cut. We can just hit the arrow key or we can press grab and we can just bring it to the bottom. That's already a basic mug shape. Well, what we can do is create some more detail. So if we hold down Alt and click all the edges here and hold down Alt and also Shift and click all the edges here, we can press Control B and it will create the bevel. And if we use a scroll, we can make it even more detailed. So look at that. That's already a nice mug. Now we're going to add some more detail. We're going to Click on the bottom face here, press 3 to go in the face select mode, click on the bottom face, press S, and create a kind of a little, make it a bit more narrow. Then what we can do is we go back into our object mode by pressing tab, shift and A, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a circle. Circles are very interesting, they have nothing inside of them. Then to rotate this, we're going to press, we're going to go in our uh, Y viewpoint. So we're facing this way. And we're going to press R. We're going to hold control and we're going to move the circle. So it's kind of like this. We're going to make the handle. Now we're going to move it where we want the handle to be. And we're going to press S to scale and move it, scale it a bit down. Let's say to about here. Now we're going to want to delete the uh, circle we don't see. So we're going to go into our wireframe mode, 
there's different modes there's rendered mode i'll get into that in a bit but we want to go in our wireframe mode we're going to go on edge select mode and you're going to drag and click the part of the uh the part of the handle you don't want so we're just going to delete the edges and that's good enough for now so we don't want this to be perfect circle so we're going to scale press y and it's going to make it like a bit longer as you can see make it as long as you want it's going to do it to here then we're going to go back in our edit mode we're going to select all the edges by holding alt again so we're going to go here and we're going to press e to extrude you see extrudes it like this if you want this to be perfect press E and X, then we press A to select it all and move it over here. Now, as you can see, it's very thin. So, what we can do about this is select the whole thing, pressing Alt in face select mode, and we can press Alt and E. This is extrude, more options for extrude. And we can do extrude faces along normal and it will make it thicker like this. Then we can press A to select it all again. I don't like how this is looking. We're going to press S and Y to bring it in. We'll press S and Z to bring it down. Go in our X face. Then we press R to rotate and move it in like this. And that's our mug. There's different modes you can do. We can click it and shade smooth. This will shade it smooth. What I like to do is shade auto smooth. So there's this little panel down here in shade smooth. You can open it up and you can change how much or how smooth you want it. So 180 will be super smooth. Uh, I like to settle around 80. Now I'm going to talk about viewport shading. We have our solid mode here. This is what we're currently in. This is what we always want to model in. Then we have our material preview mode. This is if we add any materials, we can look at them. We're going to get to that in a bit. We, then we have our wireframe mode. This is very useful if we're modeling and we want to make subtle changes. And then we have our rendered mode. This isn't very important at the moment. This is only if you're making renders. So let's go into our material preview mode and let's go to this little panel here and let's go to material properties and create a new material for the mug. As you can see, we created a material for a circle. So that will be the handle here. So we can just come down here, click on base color. And we can make this any color we want. Let's settle on a blue mug. So as you can see, we have our values here. Next, we can click on our mug, uh, on our actual mug, and we can create a new material for that as well. Click on base color, and if you want the same color as this, we can simply click on this eyedropper tool and click on the mug. And that is how you also change the color and blend. Now for the basics, I think this is enough. So this is going to be it for the beginner basics. I really suggest watching some other videos on, let's say, if you want to make a donut. Search up on YouTube how to make a donut in Blender. And you start to understand more of Blender and what you're capable of in it. It would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel and also join my Discord server, which is all linked in the description. And have a nice day.